Now anything? Check one two. Check one. Checking. You can hear me now. Okay. All right. So you guys should be able to hear me now. Do I sound like a robot? <laughs> now. Can you hear me better? Is that better? Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Uh, that's way better. Is it good? Loud? Like hearable? Yeah. All right. You guys can hear me now? All right. Good. Well, I took it off the whole headset altogether. I put it on my computer. So my computer is picking up the mic. You guys can hear me. That's good. Hopefully you can hear with the... Uh, When the uh, everything is on, you might need to control the volume, uh, rookie. But uh, all right, so we're loaded up in the full cockpit simulator. Hopefully, you guys can see all well. Um, we are in San Diego. We're gonna be going to Las Vegas, testing out the full cockpit simulator for World Flight. Is what we're using this for um, in November, as you guys know. Um, if you guys need me to turn up the mic at all, just let me know. I think it should be good. Um, let me turn it up just a little bit on the game. Hopefully that's good. All right. Um, <clears throat> anyways, let's uh, let's get everything powered on. We are not on ground power, battery power, anything yet. We're cold and dark. Let's get things uh, turned on and ready to go. Um, let's get a couple things out of my body here. All right. Those are our flight plans. This is crazy, right? <laughs> All right, so we get battery power on. We're gonna get ground power connected. Aircraft will start coming alive here. We are gonna be on VATSIM as well. So anyone that wants to fly along with us today can also fly along as we are on VATSIM.
There you go. You guys can see me for the time being while we uh, get things loaded up, ready to rock and roll here. Hopefully, you guys can still hear me. Uh, but everything's initializing. You guys can see on the screen down here or not, but uh, it does take uh, just like in real time about uh, 75 seconds or so for the aircraft to completely initialize and turn on, um, which is uh, what's going on right now with it. So that's going to get turned on. We're going to get our IRSs aligning as well here. We'll turn those on. That's looking good. All right, so there we go. Our power is now stored to the aircraft. We are looking good. Yo, hop. 7876. Uh, Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. All right, so we're going to go to our FMC here. Um, you guys can't see the FMC very well. This is our first initial test streaming here in the cockpit. Hopefully everything um, will work for us here, but we're going to get uh, everything ready to go. Um, if you guys are flying on BATSIM, just let me know if you guys are flying along. Um, all right, so we're going to get our positioning here. We're in San Diego. And we'll grab our GPS. Eventually, we will have a roaming uh, GoPro camera, so that way you can everything go uh, around and everything. Captain Geo, yo, Mr. Geo, I saw you're flying, sir. We're gonna request our flight plan. That's gonna take a minute. You should hear a ding. Once that gets on, we got our lights. There's our ding. Flight plan's loaded in. We'll load that and activate our Delta eighty three seventeen. That's our world flight number. Get that loaded in here. That's looking good. So, we'll finish with our flows here for the overhead. We'll get our lights on. Um, our gears are aligning. We'll look down here. Look at our fuel pumps. Fuel pumps are off. Lights are off. Ground power is connected. Um, yeah, ground power is connected. You can see our bolts right here. That's all looking good. We get our smoking sign on and our seatbelt signs. Ready pump position. Are you back there, Ricky? Big up. Let's go. We got Geo. Welcome aboard, everyone. Who needs a Phoenix when you have Ricky? <laughs> right. Right, right, right. We need to call our maintenance real quick. Hold on one second. Uh oh. V pilot crashed. That's right. We'll get it turned back on. We'll get that turned back on here in just a second. Normal simisms. As soon as we stream and something wants to go wrong, it's fine. It's fine. It is fine. Where did I put the mouse? Well, the mouse. There's the mouse. We need the mouse. Okay. So let me minimize. Let me minimize. We need. All right, well, welcome back up. We should be good to go here. So, yeah, what's going on, everyone? Hopefully, everyone's having a good start to their weekend. Hey, I heard you drive the truck and farm some. Uh, hey, Gio. I can drive. Maybe I just like to drive bricks. Maybe I just like to drive reckless, all right? You ever think about that? Maybe it's just funner than driving normal?
All right, so as we get started, I'm going to step out of the cockpit just one second to go uh, plug something in real quick, and I'll be right back in just a second. So yeah, give me one second, so I'll be right back. All right, let's get back in the cockpit. This is a tight fit. It is smaller than it looks in here. Okay. Get this camera fixed. All right, let me see how this looks. It's a little bit better, a little crooked. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love it in San Diego, Hadley. All right. One of our grounds crew Hadley's getting uh, our uh, thing fixed here across the window. <laughs> yeah, I can't fit through these windows, man. There's no way. Can't even fit one ass cheek through the window. And I've got to get those in-flight snacks. I got one. I do got the Biscoff cookie here. One Biscoff cookie. Courtesy of Rookie. So I do got one snack. And I got my Burger King drink from earlier. All right, so ground crew is working on the plane. Oh, what happened? So, last minute ground crew maintenance, you know how it is. I'm having margaritas, Drew, uh, Stavon, already seen it. Yeah, I saw your uh, thing. You know, it hasn't crashed yet. We're still loading in. They're fixing a couple things. 
last minute maintenance before we go. You know, make sure our flight is safe. We don't want to crash the plane. You don't want to crash the plane. So, but who needs PMDG when you have this, right? So. So, I'll be right back in one more second. I gotta help the ground crew one more thing. Almost feels like crawling through a window trying to get in here sometimes. Well, I gotta go home in a few. I'll catch you in about 30. All right, Mike, we'll see you in a minute. See you in a few. Not the right spot, Hadley. Ground crew throwing us in the wrong spot. Yes, drive safe, Mr. Mike. Drive safe. Uh. All right, just got to fix our screen now. 
We'll be good to go. So, uh, wow, since when did you have a full cockpit? <laughs> since joining World Flight, Daniel. This is part of the World Flight SoCal crew team. That myself, fly with Ricky, Captain Geo, um, Sharon Sane, Shadow, Eagle Aviator, and uh, many more um, are a part of coming in November. Awesome, can't wait to see this in action, me either. Go Dodgers. Go Dodgers, get out of here, Mike. <laughs> Go Angels, you mean. I'm not even sure if the score hasn't been working on this. Haven't been able to check on anything tonight. Well, nope. Angels are down by a couple runs, but that's all right. So we're almost ready to go, though. Almost ready. Oh, play here momentarily. Hello, this was going to be easier. But yeah, for whatever reason, the program itself is not on full screen, even though everything's worked. Yeah, Microsoft, and I keep trying to click it full screen, it doesn't do anything. I know. Everything was running smooth. There's probably because I hadn't rained so long. So, ground crew, ground crew's in action. Oh, what happened? Oh, the whole screen just went blue. Uh, what? Wait. Oh, there we go. And you already turned on the VPI client, right? Okay. Okay. Can you go on the cockpit PC and connect again on that similar? Yeah, that looks great now. Looks great now. Yeah, you might want to disconnect or reconnect unless you just connected. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm going to check my phone right now. Okay. Um, no, it shut itself off. It said B pilot error. So it had to do something with the internet. Because it was a V-Pilot crashed, and that's what made everything crash, apparently. But I think the MCP went first. So all I did was plug it, unplug it, and plug it back in, and hopefully it will work now.
Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let me turn everything on and see what we do. All right. We're going to get everything turned back on now. Thanks, Anna. Bye. All right. Ground crew has let me know that things should be fixed now. I'm going to get my headset back on for that sim. All right. So battery power is on. Ground power is connected. We'll get our idea is aligning again. We'll do our flows here just one more time. We'll look at everything is good. Uh, smoking signs, seatbelt signs are on. Well, we're on the emergency lights. Um, all that looks good. We'll get our window heats on. Window heats are good. Hydraulics will stay off. Our position light is on. Trim air can come on with circuit fans. The packs can go to auto. Isolation valve is open. Engine leads can be on. That all looks good. All right, so if you look at our flight plan, we're going to go 31,000 feet. So 31,000 feet will come in here. Our landing altitude in Vegas, if I remember correctly, I think it's 2150. Maybe someone can uh, double check that for me, but I feel like it's 2150 for Vegas. We'll double check that here in a second. Audio sounds very interesting. Yeah, we do have sounds. It's our uh, flight attendant button when we have a flight attendant. Um, currently, no flight attendant, but uh, let's do our FMC one more time here. So, I think our route's still loaded. Uh, let's grab that, put it in there. Can I reposition the camera for you guys? Hold on. Let me make this one straight again. There we go. I think that's better. Cool. Um, okay, let me get, uh, I'm going to get me off the screen so you guys can see the overhead. There we go. You guys can kind of see that overhead panel there a little bit. All right. Um, now, where are we at here? We need to get the FMC plugged in. We need to get chat back so I can see it. There we go. 2181 by 2150 is good enough. Okay, sweet. Thanks, Daniel. Appreciate it. So our route is in there. We're going to plug in our departure. We'll have to contact ATC here before we do that. Uh, I'm going to tune to San Diego ground. It's going to be 123.9. 123.9. You guys might not be able to hear VATSIM. We don't have that hooked up before, so you'll have to hear me. Okay. Oh, what happened there? 123.9. That's not good. Okay, we might have to do without that thing. I'm not sure whose cockpit. This is Fly with Ricky, part of the World Flight Team. All right, so let's get things loaded up. Guys, San Diego, we're departing runway 27. We're going to be departing via the, I think, Padres 2 departure. Okay, Padres 2 departure with the chicken transition, and we'll execute that. Go to the leg page here. And we'll fix any discontinuities.
That looks good. We'll go to our arrival into Las Vegas. Look at the current uh, current aid is for Vegas. Arriving runway is one left and eight right. All uh, right, so we're actually going to be landing on one left into Vegas. And we'll be arriving via a rounders two. So let's do ILS one left. We'll put the rounders one arrival from, I think, Mycin. And we'll execute. that but our leg page the pretty discontinuities got one there and now it looks good my flight plan was put in kilograms for whatever reason we have to talk to dispatch about that Um, service. All right, so we have to change our cockpit to kilograms. Okay, so let's go ahead and We'll load our block fuel. We need 59.35 on the kilograms. So I'm going to go to the little maintenance page. We're going to go to uh, weight. So we need on the kilograms, we just need 59. So we're going to go zero in the center. Fuel, we're gonna go five. Let's just go 6,000 on the fuel. Why is that not loading? I guess I can put the fuel on in here. Um, so I'm going to main services. Fuel. Okay, so fuel should be hopefully fixed with that. Fuel seems to be going. Is it, uh, hey Jones, what's going on? How are we doing? Uh, yeah, I can't look at it right now, but maybe in a little bit. Trying to get things loaded up, ready to go. Try to avoid our issues. Um, so 6.0 on the fuel. Don't want to input anything. Let's request it, maybe. Load. Thirty-one thousand feet. Well, that looks good. We got too much fuel on board, though. Some reason does not let me change the fuel. Okay, 
plug it in so I won't put the cargo in. I mean, we can, uh, we can roll with that much fuel. I guess it doesn't really matter. A little bit extra of your toga takeoff. We'll go flaps five. We'll get uh, maintenance in here. Thirty-two point eight on the CG. All right, one thirty-five up here for the takeoff. Flight director can come on. I go straight up to thirty-one thousand feet. Okay, that looks good. The arm L nav and the V nav. Let's get our AQ started. All right, AQ is fired up. He said, hey, if you don't mind me asking, how much did the cosmic cost to make? Um, that'd be a question for Mr. Final Rookie. I'm not the one that paid for it. Mr. Final Rookie wants to uh, dissolve, expose that information, then he can uh, let you guys know. Get the break on. We get our transponder on. Our engine gens on, he can bleed, can come on. Can you guys still hear me? The cost to make it or the cost to own it? Relatively the same thing, I guess. Let's get our altimeter in. Need the fuel. Altimeter for base, San Diego, two nine eight five. Right, two nine eight five is in. All right, I think we're pretty much ready for our pushback. Uh, and... All right, ground crew is going to connect the tug, and we'll be just about ready to get out of here. We get our beacon light on, so we're ready to go. It's very expensive. Yeah, I know it's very expensive. I can tell you that. Very expensive. I don't think you guys can see on here very well, but on the overhead here, there's a screen. I don't know if you guys see that screen right up here. That's actually a security camera. We can actually see on the outside of the cockpit um, with that. I'll show you guys inside here real quick here. Kind of give you guys a little, a little view of everything. 
We are fully enclosed. Our cockpit door is locked and ready to go. There's a jump seat right here. So, got working dome light as well. So, dome light can go on or off. We hear no game sound. You know, you'll hear it in a little bit. Um, like I said, this is just our initial stream testing kind of some things. You can kind of hear the APU noise in the background, maybe. Some rumbles. But the game is on a different PC than my laptop is what I'm using to stream with. But as we get going, you're definitely going to hear a lot louder sounds. Camera crew door handles automatic. Press check. <laughs> So yes, cabin crew. All right, let's go and do our pushback. We're ready to go. Should be driving up now. She's connecting. I think our tug operator fell asleep. Uh, does the throttles move when you have auto throttle on? Yes, everything is fully working. Uh, the throttles move, everything moves. Trim moves. We just got to restart ProSim real quick because ProSim is not connecting to the tug. Ground crew is working on that for us as well. Uh, just please bear with us with all our simisms here. As we're, like I said, this is all kind of a big test. Kind of a big test that we're trying to do here and get everything working. We are testing. So I hope you guys are having a good Friday night so far. 
Hope you guys are enjoying it. This is the PMG, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I mean, it's pretty much like the PMDG. Um, this is technically another program running inside Microsoft called ProSim. ProSim is what makes all the gadgets in here work for all the moving and everything. It costs about $1,500 for that program. So tomorrow morning, though, we will be live again tomorrow morning in the actual PMDG from home. And as well as probably flying the Phoenix A320 tomorrow, continuing our around-the-world trip. So we'll be doing that tomorrow. No, the sim did not just crash. Ground crew is in there fixing pro sim real quick. We'll have to re-put our flight plan in real quick, but that's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, power back on. All right, let's get our flight data put back in here one more time. So, okay, San Diego. So we will be ready to go here very shortly. So we need a total of 14,000 pounds of fuel. We'll get that put in here in a second. Work our flight plan. Activate. Execute the flight plan. The running runway 27. Be the Padres 2. Chicken transition. And then we'll. And we'll do that, then we're going to do my last one into Vegas. I'm not sure which one, but we'll just take that one. 
Founders one, Mycin, we want to do that, go to the page, the page just got annuities, go like that, that's good. Go here and we'll press the birth data. Load. Go menu, maintenance, wait. So we're going to go zero, and 13.2 is in there, that's good. Work at 13.2. And we can execute. All right, so that looks good. Take off Toga, flaps five. Uh, our CG weight. Twenty five point five. Twenty five point five. We'll plug that in. You know, V speeds one forty three. Let me get that off the screen for you guys as well. There we go. All right. Get the APU started again. Two and three. Oops, I'm going to cut the set. Get your phone on. Looks Just let me know if it gets too loud. If you can or not. All right, here we go. Now I think we're ready. Stop knocking the camera off. Dang it. So, uh, two minute was two nine or eight six. There we go. Uh, now let's try to switch back. There we go. Now we should be pushing back. Brakes going off. Fuel pumps are going on. Hydraulics are going on. All right, we'll push it back. Gonna get the packs off. And we're going to start out engine number 
You guys hear all right? You guys know we can't hear all right? I think it's starting to cut out. Wait for it to stabilize. Oh boy. Well, we lost power. <laughs> All aircraft just blew up. We died. We died. Oh boy. All right. Well, <laughs> that was unexpected.
That was unexpected and I'm gonna have to fix that. So I do apologize guys. Sorry for the issues. Alright, um, if you guys don't mind hanging out, I'll leave the stream open as we continue to get things working. Give me a second, I'll be back. Yep, I'll be right back. That's got to be it. Yeah, that's the only new thing that we added, so... I'll fix it. Yep. All right. Yep. All right, guys. Our lovely ground crew slash flight attendant, Mr. Rookie, is fixing everything. And we'll be good to go here in just a minute, or just a few minutes anyways. So, appreciate you guys bearing with us here through our trials and tribulations. Uh, yeah, everything's powering on.
Any issues? Uh, yes, yeah, so we had a streaming PC hooked up, Mike. Um, and I think that was drawing too much power because we didn't have it hooked up last time when it was running good. Um, so we unplugged that, reset everything. So I think we should be good this time. Just need to highly hit the play button. So yeah, let me, let me show, show I still help here with my margaritas. You better send a margarita my way, Mike. I need a margarita. I need a big old margarita. Okay. Nope, you're the captain. <laughs> Let's see how it is, Mike. I'll see how it is. 
let's get things loaded up one more time here. Load that in. Look cute. Get our departure one more time. Orders to chicken transition. We'll execute. Let's go to our rivals in Las Vegas. One left. The the rounders one. All right. Look for any discontinuities here. We got one. Execute that. One more. Execute that. All right. Request our perf data. Load. And we'll execute. Okay, that looks good. Motor N1 limits. Token takeoff. Flex 5. It was 25.8 on the CG, I think. Okay. Oh, good GP. Fix our flaps. Um, all right, I just need to fix one thing, I'll be ready to go. Snackhead, hey, welcome Snackhead. We're almost ready to go. Again, pick number two. All right. Okay. Street, I thought it was take three or four. <laughs> Something like that, Mike. You know what it is? It's probably because we're in San Diego and San Diego hates me. It's probably what it is. All right, one, three, four. Or one, four, three. Being you know, El Nav is armed. Um, flight directors are on. Let's start the APU again.
Okay. Camera doesn't like me. Listen to me, welcome board. Right, if your gems are on, if you bleed is on. All right, we're ready for pushback again. Two pumps are coming on. And transponder is on. That's good. Ground power is on. All right, here comes a tug again. Let's see if we can get in the air, shall we? We can get in the air this time. So again, thank you guys for sticking it out for us on this lovely Friday night. We're doing our best here to get this uh, ready to rock and roll. We go push back, we get lights on. Backs are coming off. We're starting into number two. Uh, number two. There we go. Here's some fuel. Fuel is introduced. What airline are flying? Uh, Delta or Delta 8317. Just started to cut out, waiting for two to stabilize.
you guys hear me all right? Let me know if you can hear me all right. Without the sound still. Yeah, I can hear you guys all right. Okay. If you want to start this cut out, engine one for the stabilizers. We're going to start our pushback, probably break it set, bring it flex five. Flex five is set. A little broken, but you can hear me? Okay. Once we get all the official microphones and all that set up, you guys will be able to hear a lot better. Our engine one stabilized chin. Back is on. Nicely, it's about 12 GPU. You know, APU is off. Yeah, you guys can Taxi lights are on, he is off, car red parts are on, transponder is on, we have only have arms, record right release, and we're ready to go. It starts to continue this. Consider in the Hawaii. Did you find some of the full cockpit? I'm um, just been within the community through uh, Captain Geo and some other streamers as well. Yeah, I'm going through uh, old games, XP72. Pretty awesome. Joystick cam set up. Here you guys can see the joystick on the other camera.
I should see something once we break through the clouds. Let's see here. So this is very uh, familiar to 
you are completely foreign. Well, since I've been working on it for uh, the past like couple months, um, it's pretty familiar. Um, but definitely at first, it's overwhelming. Um, it could definitely be overwhelming at first, uh, being in here with all the buttons. Um, you know, when you're in, when you're on the computer, things are not, uh, you know, things are not as uh, they seem like they're farther away when you're on the computer, if that makes sense. But in here, the buttons are so close, everything's like right in your face. You know, if that makes sense. Oh, it's definitely a night day feeling, but it feels it, it feels pretty pretty amazing. So we're on our way to Vegas, we're going to take a shortcut. We're going to go direct to we're go direct to Yellow. This was yours. I thought you were in someone else's. No, this isn't mine. This is Fly with Rookies, uh, full cockpit simulator. Fly with Rookie, though, lets us use it and share it since we have helped with it and we're part of World Flight. So, World Flight, if you guys don't know, is a big online charity um, event every November where teams around the world, like ours, Flying full cockpit simulators for seven days straight, 24 hours a day for charity, um, raising money for um, a charity of our choice. So that's what we've been kind of getting things ready for. This is our first year in World Flight, uh, first year flying with Rookie. So yeah, that's what we're really uh, getting ready for here. Everything's uh, you know, looking pretty good. Majority standard pressure. That's the 18,000 feet. All of our lights are going to come off now. Turn off the fast and seatbelt sign. We are cruising, ladies and gentlemen. We're cruising. Uh, Vegas flight time is just under an hour, about 45 minutes of flight time from San Diego. We're going up to 31,000 feet today. We've got that set up here and set in our MCP. You guys can see the clouds.
picture quality if you guys hold that on the camera. That seems to be working at least.
coming to the picture there. It didn't look very, very good though when I made it bigger. So. Just joining us as well. This is a 737 full cockpit simulator. Going to be used for world flight. Um, we're doing our first initial test stream here just to see if everything's working. Um, a few hiccups, but everything seems to be uh, running pretty good at the moment. Um, stream audio and video quality will definitely improve here as we. Uh, get going. We don't have the full stream set up where I'm doing this off my laptop at the moment. We'll eventually have another PC set up outside the plane. Um, they'll be doing all the streaming and the audio, the video, everything will be a lot better quality. This was all set up last minute um, as a treat to all you guys on the channel. We've been talking about the simulator here for quite a long time. We're finally uh, making it possible thanks to Mr. Fly with Ricky and uh, Mr. Shadow, Sheer Insane. Uh, we're about uh, 22 miles or so to our top uh, descent into Las Vegas. So we'll be descending here shortly in Las Vegas. Um, if you guys want to pick where we should go next, let me know in chat where we should fly next. I don't really have anything planned. Uh, I mean, we could go Vegas to San Jose. We could go Vegas to... Uh, Denver, Spice Buffalo, uh, what, uh, wait, did you build this? Um, well, I helped with it. I helped with um, the full cockpit. Uh, let me give you guys a tour here. I'm going to switch cameras. Yeah, bring the other camera back up here. So, give you guys a little look around the cockpit here. Um, so you can see all the flight instruments are working. Um, let them see. So I helped with it. I did not completely build it myself. This is Flight with Rookie Simulator. Um, it is fully enclosed. As you can see, a full cockpit door is behind me. Um, I don't like it. does turn on and off. Put the switch on the overhead. Um, it'll have a jump seat that comes out. Got to see back there a little bit. Um, a fully working door. It's got a lock on it. Electronic lock and everything. Real uh, pilot seats. It's our laptop I'm using to stream currently. Um, oh, our uh, pedestal as well. Really working pedestal. There we go. So let me bring back up chat so I can see you guys here. Well, yep. Yeah, so you know, it's definitely very, very fun. Very, very fun. Now, like I said, the graphics and everything will definitely improve as we get things set up. We don't have all the GoPros and streaming things. I'm streaming this all with my webcams that I normally use to stream with. Um, you'll be able to hear better stream, like game audio, once we get everything set up on the real PC. Everything will sound a lot better. This is all a test.
money in now. It definitely costs a lot of money. All cockpits are not cheap, man. It's like buying a house. All right. It's already set now. We are descending down to Las Vegas. We're looking good. Right, as we start to set here, we get our overhead panel back on for you guys. Alright, so we're passing 18,000 feet. Ready our landing gear. 
ring lights back on here. Planning flaps 30. I appreciate it. We're going to do our best. So let's go to auto break set. We're going to go auto break three. Notice the seatbelt signs coming back on.
that's unfortunate. Sim has frozen. Alright, it's alive again. Stuttering. Alright. Hey, one sec, guys. I'll be right back. See if I can fix it. Again. All right, you try this Thank <laughs> you. 
And see what the sand when it freezes itself.
get some view. Engine start, switch is continuous, lighting lights are all on. Oh, flaps 30. Coming in. Wait for flaps. Any lights can come off. Engine start switches. Fire debut.
you get up. If you believe, you can come on. Is set. Deep Keep Bleed is on. Engine number one is coming off. Engine number two is coming off. We've made it to Las Vegas. Where shall we try to go next? All right, so we're going to leave the run while we get our passengers deboarded and off our plane. We're going to get the IRS reset as well. We'll get those off. Everything looks good.
All right, so we're going to go to San Jose next. Honeycomb, like one of the tags is honeycomb. Well, there's the honeycomb products in the cockpit. You know, it's kind of a generic description I use like all the time. And I can't believe that this is a Microsoft Flight Simulator. Yeah, this is in Microsoft. This is not the PMDG. We're not using that in Microsoft. Um, this is using ProSim. So even before PMDG was in Microsoft, this puts a 737 in Microsoft. Um, it's very comparable to PMDG, obviously, except it makes all the road controls work. So we are going to get loaded up now to go to San Jose. Here's our papers from the dispatch. I handed our uh, dispatch papers here that you guys can see. All right, so we got uh, trip time, one hour, 15 minutes of total flight time on this flight. We need block fuel of... Uh, that's pounds. That's kilograms. All right, so our load sheet looks good. We need 15,000 pounds of fuel. Let's go ahead and we'll go to our init request. And we are in Las Vegas. Okay, we're going to load that. Maintenance. Um, D Link. Request our weather here in the FMC. Here's our weather altimeter 2981 in Las Vegas now. 2981. That looks good. Winds are gusting 23 knots. Very windy here in Vegas. Per the usual. Uh, estimate time routes, one hour, 15 minutes. We're looking good. All right, so let's go to our link. Page for our departure page. What was that? Uh, a few minutes. This one was a kilogram. Okay, I got Scott sixty eight hundred. That's well, it's not enough in pounds if that is. 
Okay. Ground crew, they gave us the wrong paper. We're going to come back with the correct paperwork so we make sure we're all good. Um, but let's do our departure out of here while we're waiting. So, so they're still departing. Runway's one left and one right. Um, so we're going to part one right. Out of here. We went right. We're taking the Joker 3 departure. Joker 3. Joker 2 departure. You know, transition, and we'll execute that. Go to our link page, look for any discontinuities. We look good. Erase. There we go. We'll fix that. Let's go to our arrival now to San Jose. Check that hiatus. Uh, so they're arriving to find runways 30 left, 30 right. So we're going to find there's 30 left. And we're going to go uh, runway I left, 30 left. And we're going to take that from the Razor 4 arrival from. Bruce May, and then I think it's Clyde. On the transition, I need to bring my charts up. Bring up our charts. So, appreciate all of you guys have hung with us throughout the night here through our trips and trials. Like I said, we're trying to get this thing ready for world flight. Ready for world flight. You guys can see me here. All right. Look at chart. San Jose. Here we go. Three zero left from board. Flight deck. Fifty thousand. Okay, yeah, but she now got some. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I think we need to see. Yep. All right. That was just much. They're gonna get new paperwork. I can stop breaking the camera. <laughs> Zoom here. Hey, we're coming from dispatch. Let's finish our route here. So for board, we'll execute that. Request our perp data, and then we'll verify everything. With our paperwork, we'll wait for our paperwork so we can verify all of our data. And then we'll be ready to rock and roll here in just a minute. How fun is this got to be a blast? No, it's definitely... I mean, it's not like anything else I've ever experienced. I mean, I, I don't know exactly even how to put into words, to be honest. Um, you know, if I had the money, I would definitely have the multiple cockpits. If I ever won the lottery one day, I'd have a Boeing 737, I'd have an Airbus 8320 cockpit, I'd probably have a 747, um, a Max, a Boeing Max, and then probably like a 777 or something. And it would just be one hell of a time, let me tell you. Uh, even better, once we get other people in here too, if I get a co-pilot with me, 
I'm going to be sitting in the seat here where the camera is obviously sitting. Uh, we will have two pilots in here for a flight. Oh, hold on. Dispatch column. Play deck. Let's buzz them in. There we go. Hello, thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, there's dispatch. All right, so we got our right paperwork now. I'm going to take off fuel. It's going to be 14.5. We got 15.1 on the fuel. We're looking good there. Zero fuel weight of uh, 126. That's a good zero fuel weight here. 126. We're looking good. Point two. Tank work is a go. We can go ahead and execute our perf data on the FMC. Our load is looking good. That's our final paperwork. Um, all right. So let's get uh, our takeoff limits in here set now. So we're going to do a toga takeoff. We're going to go flex five. Our center of gravity is going to be 29.2. Put down the CG. That gives us a trim value of 4.1. Takeoff speeds of 135, 137, and 145. So 145 will get put in here. We're going to be going to a cruise level of 36,000 feet on this flight. So 36,000 feet in there. Let me fix this camera up. There we go. You guys can see it a little bit better. Um, all right, so with that, we're pretty much ready for our push and start here momentarily. We're gonna arm LM and B now, we're gonna arm RTO. Flight director master is on here. Our takeoff heading is set. Altimeter is set here, 281 on this side. There we go. Let's just double check that altimeter. Make sure that is correct. Uh, yeah, 2981 is our altimeter, so that's good. Just bring out my taxi charts. All right, so we're going to push back here, nose to the left, or nose to the right, sorry. Um, so yeah, we'll go straight back, nose to the right, AQ bleed is on, everything up here in the overhead, y'all can come on, everything else looks good, we'll go ahead and we will have our beacon light on, that looks good, all of our fuel pumps are going to come on now. And we are ready for push and start, ladies and gentlemen. Let me get the overhead panel back on for you. You guys can hopefully see that better. There we go. All right. Um, are we ready, guys, to go to San Jose? Hopefully you guys are ready. I'm ready. Let's get on to San Jose. All right. Um, let me go ahead and call the tag.
So there we go. Parking brakes released. We are pushing back. Packs are coming off. Hydraulics are coming on. And we'll start engine number two. Right, engine two is rotating. Or 25 and 2. Let's get fuel. Okay. If you want to spool it up, come in a little arm. Engine just started to cut out, waiting for N2 to stabilize. All right, push back start, back to break is set. All right, two stabilized, starting engine one. Rising. So I get our engine gen on as well. Pack can come on. Pro P can come on now. Get some air to the passengers. Introducing fuel. Transponders on, transponders on. Starter cut out. All right, engine stabilizing. Engine went good. Engine jet's going to come on. The opposition. Isolation valve auto, AQ off, AQ bleed is off. Everything is on and we're looking good. AQ lights come on. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are set. Parker break is released.
Take Bravo down to Delta. Delta's going to be the third left. Lights on for the runway. We cross the runway here. Lights off. Departure. Lights are coming on. Engines are continuous. Lights are coming on. Engines
in the file size of Mario 320. I'm going to get it, but I don't have a lot of space. Uh, yeah, I don't know that off the top of my head, Spice Buffalo. Um, how much space do you have to work with? I don't think it uh, takes a ton. I don't think it takes a ton of memory. But yeah, how much space you got? Requested some drinks from our flight attendant. They should be bringing us some drinks here momentarily. Passing thirteen thousand feet. San Jose and enjoy Delta's finest discount cookies they offer.
to sleep. How's it going? It's going pretty good. It's going pretty good, sir. What's going on? Did you hear this? <laughs> uh, well, when this works, I think it's this all day long. This works. It's, uh, it's the cockpit all day long, man. Nothing's going to beat the real controls, you know what I mean? Hey, you guys want to try hopping on in Discord, in my Discord chat? See if I can hear you in the set up. I'm going to say that you should be able to hear me. I should be able to hear you. So professional compared to my Logitech 3D Pro uh, rigged old computer desk. <laughs> Um, yeah, I would say it's definitely a step up. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing to speak of.
Uh, what are you up to? Just test flying. Uh, I mean, kind of testing everything. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, the stream setup is going to be obviously a lot better than what it's set up now. Once we get things, uh, all the cameras set up and audio and video. Uh, this was all kind of set up last minute with just my laptop and some uh, webcams that we plugged in. You guys will be able to hear the sim better, like if we're on the regular PC and everything, once everything's fully hooked up. I don't have the headset uh, microphone on. I only turned it on just so I could hear and talk in Discord. If I turn it on, it makes the audio sound pretty bad. I can try it again. Let's see. All right, I'll try and use it. Can you guys hear me? How does that sound? Because last time we used the mic here, it sounded like a robot. So let me know what that sounds like. Okay, so even though it's a robot, do you think this is better? Everybody in chat, let me know what you guys think of the audio. Even if it sounds like a robot, let me know if this is better or not. Okay, so you do think this is better, then I'll leave it on then. If you guys can hear me better. Let me know if it's too loud. Uh, yeah, as long as you guys can hear me much better, then that's good. Good to know. Yes, good to know. What's good to know? Consider me intrigued. Yeah. So we're cruising right along here to San Jose today. Is he talking to his streamers? Probably. They're followers. I don't even know if he can hear us. Can you hear us, Mike? We got our Biscoff cookies in hand. <laughs> I don't think he can hear us. <laughs> you guys ever had a Biscoff cookie? They're delicious. I'm curious if the stream can hear us. Oh. 
करेंगे Yeah, I don't hear you guys. Hold on. What about now? I don't even think the, the stream can't hear us either. That's fine. That's better. Oh, just kidding. Nothing can. So, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Can you hear me now? It's weird you guys are in there, but can't I can't hear you. Let me see if I can fix that. Yo, testing, testing. Interesting. Did we haven't put the headset on? What, the Telex? No, the, uh, the SIM headset. Yeah, the Telex. Oh. Yeah. And that's the brand of headsets they are. Oh, wait. Now I think I can hear you guys. What'd you, what'd you do to change it? Because I didn't even see you move. Creepy. Oh, no, that's really bad. What? You know. So, I think I can hear you. Can but you it makes everything... Testing, testing. Test one, two, one, two, penis. Peace. The stream can hear us, bro. No, you can't. How do you know? Yeah, I can hear you guys barely, but I can hear you. Oh, you can hear us in the stream? Yes. Oh. Whoops. Yeah. I feel like it's making like an echoey sound, but... I'm gonna log on to this computer for a second, Mike. Okay, yeah. You guys are gonna go in the Discord on that one? Yep. Okay, well, I'll put the other headset on then. Made my F and C go to a red X. Yep, I did. Ooh. That was not a good sound. Alright, can you guys still hear me in chat? Hopefully. Perms of food with Mike? Uh, no, the server. Mike, if you can hear me, give the person that just joined your server perms. I can, I think. Maybe, hold on. Are you an admin on the server? I doubt it. Are you guys in the other Discord now, or no? No. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you in my Discord. Uh, this, the person who just joined your Discord, make them, give them the perms to see the channel. Oh, the one that just joined my Discord? Yep. Yeah. 
Okay, hold on. Okay. yourself on your OBS because it will pull our audio from this so they'll hear you twice. Okay, so the Discord muted then on my side can you say Okay. Can you turn the Discord speaker up a little bit? Pretty please. No, you can still go up more. There you go, that's good. a little quiet, but I think it's because it's loud in here. You say you're trying to get the hospital to sponsor you? That's because of the headset I'm using, but they said they can hear me better with the headset, and they'd rather have it robotic. Because they can hear me louder than because I was using the microphone on my webcam on my laptop is what I was using. Okay. And leave it muted. Okay, so the headphones are unmuted, but the microphone's muted. Whoa. Is that better? Yes, but now we're really loud on your stream. Oh, okay. You can, I guess, turn me down a little bit. Well, it's, you're going to want to actually change the volume on your laptop to turn it down. Okay. Because your laptop is picking our audio up through your Maverick mic account. Okay, I see here. Alright, so I turn that down a little bit. Is that better? Uh, let's keep talking okay. for a minute. Test. Testing one, two, three, testing. Is that better? It seems like it's in the green now. Oh, that sounds a gazillion times better on your screen. Sweet brain power. I like it. So uh with those uh two big brains, are you guys able to fix that X by chance? <laughs> Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah, that very much is an X, isn't it? It is one giant X, yes. Big ol' X. What? What's up? Captain. All right. Sweet. I appreciate it. Test it real quick. Just go into the FMC. Yep. Be it for... So about uh, 70 miles from our top of descent into San Jose. Are you on that side? No. That's him now. He got off because of the internet. I don't know. I think he might not have like enough bandwidth or something for all the stuff we have going on the internet, to be honest. He should. It's got 
fiber with it quite a bit down it and up. Can the stream hear us? Yes. Okay. So in theory, yes, he should have enough. But I don't know. Um, the other thing I have noticed, though, and I haven't even touched it since the last time it, the MCP crashed. So on our way to Vegas, I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but the MCP went out and the sim froze. I waited for it to unfreeze and it unfroze itself. But the MCP was off still. And then it froze again because it kept dropping. So I went and restarted it, came back on, let the sim come back came back we were able to land and now we've taken off again but i feel like whenever i've messed with the fasten seatbelt sign the no smoking sign and the attend button there might be something wrong there Weird. Might... i'm pretty sure the overhead is flight deck so they're not linked together in that regard but there might be something Oh, else. Something that might be like shorting it or maybe mixing signals or I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But that's I good. Know you I like touch that. That's when it, we've had issues tonight. You're going to lose your tech guy for a little bit, by the way. Say what? You're going to lose your tech guy for a little bit. We're about to race. Okay, correction. Shadow and 19 other people are going to race. I'm going <laughs> to tail up the lead if I even survive this. <laughs> You're going to watch? Okay. Pretty much. I'm going to total my car and then watch the rest of the race. <laughs> that sounds about right. It sounds like uh, you get it. Yep, yep. Sounds I mean, good. Shadow pretty much total about every tractor I own on Farm Sim, so. I mean. Hey, one time. Can we do Farm Simulator? Uh -huh. can, we, can, we get, can we get Shear uh, Farming Simulator, please? We need to get Shear Farming Simulator. Yes, I do. I agree. I agree. Let's vote on it. I second it. Is, um, is all right. Anyone? Is there anyone in the stream, you know, that can give sheer farming simulator? You know who? Wink, wink. Huck, huck, huck. I don't know anyone in stream gonna donate to Mister Sheer some farm sim. Oh gosh, you guys kill me. All right, let's do this. Yeah. The throttles are kind of wigging out a little bit too, but that's all right. Would help if I shifted into gear A. Eh? Yep. All right. So, yep, almost stopped at 40 miles. 40 miles. Gosh dang it. And we'll have landing number two. one off the freaking track. I'm trying to slow him down. I don't think it'll help much, to be honest. <laughs> I appreciate it, though. There's the conch. Oh. Hey, you have to give your spot back, Hamilton. You can't overtake on a conch, I thought. Uh, depends. Oh. If it's like a blatant, like, give that man, like, oh, yeah, my hack. I gotta go in and get a new wing. Oh, shoot, so do I. We need to pause the safety car. Oh, hold on. I'll see if I can get one. The Noda had the fastest lap. Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, he just <laughs> made me drive right into Mazepin. Wherever you say his name. Are you okay? Oh, I'm. Yeah, I mean, I just lost a whole bunch of stuff, but nice. Your plan failed, sir. Not really. Virtual safety cars out. Uh, I thought he said there's no plans for a safety car. Oh, the, but the virtual is out. Got it.
Oh, message retracted, message retracted, message retracted. Man, Spicy's just delete undeleting. Oh, that's a bad way of word. You're on camera. What's Delta Pace? You have to just make sure to keep it in the green. When there's a virtual safety car, that's what it means. Green fly, go, go, go. Yuki Sinoda got the fastest time. Yeah, this game's rigged. I just, I can't make these turns. It's not like I'm drifting out. It's just I, my car's too wide. Whoa. Start our descent here momentarily down to 4,000 feet. Hey, no crash. Just open up. Right here. Yep, yep, so far. I'm slowly catching up to Mazepin, or however you say his name. Mazepin. Mazepin. Absolutely catching up to the pack. And I lost my advantage, dang it. Was not paying attention to that track. Oh, there it goes again. Blood pressure makes me fuck you. Or fuck you. You did put a disclaimer on this, right, Mike? What was that? You, you put a disclaimer on the stream, right? Wait, I did what? A disclaimer. Disclaimer? What disclaimer? Not safe for kids. It's not safe for kids. Uh, no, I put it's not for kids, yeah. Okay. It's always not for kids. Always set no bueno for kids. Go ahead, 
Uh, this is only fans for flight sim right now. <laughs> only flights. Only flights. I like it. There's our uh, our URL. Go snag it, Shadow. I'm going to. So, the story of how I kind of came up with my name has to do with the fact of when I was with my friends trying to come up with a name. The joke was we were going to have midnight after darks and there were going to be strippers on the plane and cruise. Oh boy. So that, that was a uh, that was an actual thing at one point. <laughs> Did it get accomplished? The YouTube uh, wouldn't allow it, but uh, you know, if they did <laughs> That's where the midnight part came, though. Out of Midnight Maverick. Just because... Oh. Go ahead. I was going to say, just because Midnight Maverick may have somewhat of a uh, reputation. <laughs> so I put on yellow tires instead of red tires. Not intentionally, it's just that's what they put on. And I am driving a gazillion times better on these things. So yellow tires is like medium. Like, they have medium grip. The What's red? red? Have the they have the best grip? Yeah. That makes but, no sense to me. But they do <laughs> the fastest. Mmm. I don't think I can catch up to Leclerc. And... You cut up the Mazda then? Yeah, but that's a Mazda pen, like, in a hoss. Leclerc is in a Ferrari. Or however you say his name, Charles Leclerc. Is that what it is, Leclerc? Yes. You'd think after watching four seasons of that, I'd be able to pronounce the dude's name, but... Seriously. All you have to know is Team Red Bull for life. I don't know. And hilariously, I'm Ferrari and Red Bull, so the fact that I don't even know how to pronounce the Claire's name is even more entertaining. Oh, I'm, I'm all for that, yeah. I need to change it. There we go. That should bring out a safety car. It do. <laughs> Did it bring it out? Yes. All right, let's just plug in, heading 306, let's ring C1, 1090. We'll go on, we'll break uh, three. We got our landing flaps of 30. You want me to ask if I can give you a hard break? Yeah. 
So you guys are just waiting, Shadow? Yes, I'll be right back. There's some high quality H2O right there. I think it's better with the light or without the light. Dang it. No, I got a pet. I got Schumacher, Schumacher, like, glitched and went into the front of my car. What are you doing? Sure, blame the glitch. Crap. I wish I was joking, but homie's desyncing like a mofo. You guys doing that Formula One or NASCAR? Formula One. Oh no, it just crashed on me. I'm so sick of this game giving this. Are you one of them gamers that will throw your controllers to the screen or? No, uh, but when Shadow comes back, you can ask him how many freaking times my F1 has crashed. It is absurd. Like the game itself or the... Yeah. No, the game itself is crashing. That's no bueno. What it is, but it is driving me freaking mental and I can't pinpoint it. Display driver. All right, let's get our altimeter set. We need to find out what that is. San Jose altimeter, 
Hey, Google. Set the lights to 100%. Dang, got a smart house. Oh, boy, do I. I have... I'm kind of one of the dudes that, like, take it to another extreme. Because I have a smart home controller in my house. Making it so, like, if my door opens, my light will kick on. I've got motion sensors around the house, like that kind of thing. What was that? You're, like, whispering. Oh, sorry. So I've, I'm kind of the, like, I go a little bit to the extreme <laughs> with, uh... New, hold on one sec. Based off your system architecture. The only way to do it um, is extreme. Yes. Uh, so I've actually got a smart home controller in my house. And so it's it's not just like the classic Google stuff that's running it, but it's going to, like, I've got um, an actual controller. So when my door opens, my lights will just come on, like that kind of stuff. And so it's a, it's an actual, like, proper smart setup. Well, aren't you fancy? Yeah. Fancy, fancy. All right, passing through 10,000 feet. Landing lights are back on. I got to reboot my computer. My computer. Oh, I'll be back. Okay. We're descending now to San Jose. We are going to do one more flight after this. And we're going to go down to Burbank. So one more flight down to Burbank. San Jose to Burbank is a quick flight, just about an hour of flight time. I knew it is getting late, especially for all my American viewers. But we're having too much fun to quit now. Too much fun to quit now. Right. You can start can switches to continuous as we prepare to get a butter landing on this one. We had a little rough one on the first landing, a little rusty. It's been a minute since we were been in a sim, so let's get some drag out. Can you hear me? I can. Sweet. Welcome back, sir. Thank you. Thank, thank you. You're a little quiet, though, so you got to eat your mic a little bit. Something like that? Yep. Cool. Can you hear me? I can. Yeah, sorry. We were just waiting on the nurse to try and get some stuff. Hold on. No worries. He was uh, a deep throw on his mic. Yeah, he was. <laughs> All right, so we got flaps 30 for landing today. The landing speed is going to be 144 plus 5, 149. 
We're doing a full visual because the ILS still doesn't work. Right. Still quite a few technical controls in here to work out once everyone's here again. What are your thoughts on this, Ian? What was that? What are your thoughts on this, Ian? Uh, well, now that it's running, run for a little bit. <laughs> I mean, it's running. We're on our second flight. Um, I think, uh, like I said, I think it's that overhead panel, just like there's no smoking sign area, is giving it the fritz somehow. Uh, I don't know if it just maybe it doesn't like changing the controls too quickly. Maybe like when I was flipping the switch, you know, on and off real quick. Yeah, I don't know if it doesn't like that. Um, like I said, it, it's running; it doesn't crash. Even when the MCP went out, I got the sim to come back on. You know, I didn't have to restart it; I just had to let it just sit there for a minute, so I could catch up its brain. All right, here we go. We're gonna go flaps one and flaps two. We have the airport in sight, 15 miles out. Ending and slowing down nicely. I'm going to get my chart back up so I can see where we're going to go. One speed of land. Oh, flaps five. <laughs> That's not. What? Oh, this race. Oh. Alrighty. The Sims horrendous. Have they to answer your question? Good. It's just it just doesn't like no, no V pilot. Come on. I know. V pilot. Did you get eliminated or did your sim crash? Yeah, it crashed. I'm I'm back though. Oh, it when we had V pilot on, but I think it might have had more to do with that streaming PC that was hooked up. Oh, I'll talk it up to you. She scared about the uh, F1. Um, I did. I went in and made a registry edit. Okay, so we're hoping that fixes it. Yes. All right, let's ready up and let's do this. This still has the qualifying, right? I don't know. Imola. I like Imola. It's a fun track. I also know Kaku. All pilots come on. And all throttle, my throttles. <laughs> this guy is really smart, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh. Twenty five. A little to the right. Uh, 
And we'll go watch 30. Hey, don't forget to do your setup. Yep, yep, did it, did it. it. One thousand. Continue. Glide slow. Glide slow. Mm, glide slow. Did did you did you? We are there. Curse is out. I was down gently. Eighty knots. Blisters are coming out. Man, no break heat. All right. Welcome to San Jose. Alright, time to go out. Hey, Pew, firing up. Hey, Does this give you Bakazada vibes? Yes. Bakazada vibes. Bakazada vibes. Bakazada vibes. Bakazada vibes. But I, I can't say it. I'm low key mystic, though. I know. Engine selectors to normal. Daniel, is your hometown in San Jose? Damn, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Lighting lights are off. I was like peak vine energy back in the dizzy. So I am reading. Yes, welcome to San Jose. Next stop, Burbank. Uh, APU Gens coming on. I'll, I'll, I'll look up in breathing techniques. Hadley, send me some breathing techniques you did. Something like that. No, for birth. Oh. He <laughs> he. Just like that. Is that is it seriously? I don't. Know, I did not exceed the track limits. Saw it in a movie. I wouldn't recommend getting your breathing techniques for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. When we turn us are off, we're going to take a left here. Oh, 
overshot it a little bit. That's all right. All right, and stop. Parking brake is on. Welcome to San Jose. Engine number all one right. is coming off. Number two is coming off. When I just go into the garage, they'll change my tires out for new ones, right? Or do I need to tell them to? All right. Welcome again, Heather. to San Jose. We're going to take one more flight. You guys can keep talking. Um, um, do I need to tell them to change my tires? Yes. Okay. You need to come in and you need to select the tires, the new tires. Unless you're in a race, then you don't need to. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll just keep the same tires. I've only done three laps on them. It's not like they're going to be dead. Unless the tire wear is like set to extreme or something. I'm determined to get in top, top five with... Okay, that's a stretch. Top ten. Okay. Right now I'm 14th. Comes dispatch with our paperwork. Here's the old, and there's the new. Sweet. Thank you, sir. Right. All right, total trip time, 47 minutes down to Burbank. We have our load sheets. We'll get our aircraft loaded up and ready to rock and roll. Yeah, how hard it is to shift when you have an itch on your leg. <laughs> Dang it. All right, I'm going to get my new charts up. All their lovely passengers are deboarding here in San Jose. Yes, welcome everyone to chat. Just joining us. Make sure you don't forget to smash that thumbs up button for me and hit the subscribe button. That was not with uh, enough enthusiasm, sir. Yeah, you got to do it more enthusiasm. I would not hit that smash. That hit that smash. Yeah, can I get, can I get that? Re can you remake that? Just make sure you get that smash that thumbs up button down for me and subscribe button if you guys want more content coming to the channel very, very soon. An aviation hey. podcast with yours truly and uh, the other two that are on Discord <laughs> chat. Yes. More flight simulator, full cockpit action. You bet. Yeah. More PMDG and Phoenix A320 coming tomorrow. PMDG. We have a lot, a lot coming. Yes, we do. Okay. You know what's funny, uh, Maverick? You're not wrong. I looked up a breathing technique, and it did say you might refer to this breathing technique as the he he who. See, I knew it. Saw it somewhere. Oh, oh, oh. look at where I'm at, homie. Oh, look at that. I'm just glad I'm not the one that's actually having to have someone uh, do that breathing technique. <laughs> there you go. Uh. Okay. So we asked the nurse if I was going to be able to hear the, the person next door give birth, and they're like, no. And then I just hear someone screaming, bloody murder. Oh, Wife goes, Wife goes oh, she didn't get an epidural. You know, for my wife's 
So she got the epi, but the first epi, like for kid number one, she kept saying, like, I can feel that. Like, I can still feel what's going on. And whoever does the epi was like, no, you can't. It's like, what do you mean, no, I can't? Like, clearly, I know my body. Like, yeah. yes, I can. Thank you very much. I heard her do it. it. Always work. Uh, nope. She pretty much more or less gave natural birth. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was a miserable experience for her. Did she also scream bloody murder? Yes, I screamed bloody murder when she was gripping my hand, so. Wow. Wait, so, wait, did you did you try to do anything? Because, like, I would have thought, I mean, I'm pretty sure you did. Yeah, and they pretty much were just like, no, like. Yeah, I feel. Oh. Via the Spartans 1 departure. Is that why I'm going so? <laughs> I'll re-transition. Is that why I'm going so slow? Yeah. You gotta be honest with them. If, if you don't get an instant relief and you still feel things. Yeah, no, we told them and they were like, nope, you can't feel that. And like, uh, the hell she can't. But they just... Let's say the hospital where we're at is not known for its good reviews. That's wow. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I would have turned full Karen. Timber 2983. Set already. Set. Cross check. No, we need me to get out of the way. No. Okay. Moving over to the. I'm going to stay to the left. Arriving in the party runways 8 and 15 into Burbank. Which one do we want? So I was talking to a fellow pilot. Okay. Okay. And chemicals. So, huh? I said chemicals. <laughs> yes. So you know when Matt Sim sends you the automatic route message? Yeah. That's not CPDLC. Uh, is their version of it? No, because there is actual CPDLC. Through Hoppy. Oh, but yeah. That's confused. usually only towards, like, that's usually from the company. Yeah. And, or from uh, Oceanic, usually. With, like, you know, we have an amendment to your route. Here you go. And then it plugs into the FMC, right? What PDC does is just a text that tells you, hey, you're clear for this. Because ProSim can't take that info. I'm out of field. Darn it. I should, because there's a spot in the FMC for it. There is, but there's no way for... I mean, I, there's no way for it to be modeled like that, though. That's why they would... Has it been modeled in the past before, though? Have they? I don't know, no, to be honest. To be honest. Like, because I try to model it myself, and I couldn't do it, because there's no way for ProSim to talk to that sim. Yeah, as far as I'm aware, there's... Well, I'm supposed to talk to it through Hoppy. So I don't, I don't know. Hoppy's not a thing anymore. Yeah, I mean, unless the unless the controller has Hoppy, but not all controllers have Hoppy. Only Oceanic has Hoppy. No, because it works on the fly-by-wire. As long as you're at an airport that supports the CP, DLC, or whatever you want to call it, then the vets can, can use and give it to you and through the fly-by-wire. With Hoppy. I need you to show me. <laughs> Wait, oh, but that means you have to log on, though, right? You have yeah. to log on. Yeah, I've never done it myself, but I've seen other people do it on fly by Like, I've never took enough time to learn how to exactly set it up. Show me how it is, because, like, I want to try how to... I want to incorporate it into my person, if possible, because, like, I cannot figure it out. And if, if the fly by can do it, that means it can do it. But the thing is, though, that means the only way that it works is the controller has to be on Hoppy as well, and not all controllers are. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Uh, we're going to runway 8. It's a short runway. I'll show you my runway 8. We'll see if we can... Uh... That was dirty. But uh, we'll see if we can uh, not run <laughs> off the runway here in Burbank. Uh, let see. We could do runway 15. It's a little bit longer runway. But not exactly. Alright, so we're going to do ILS Approach 8. Do I want Zulu or do I want Yankee? Zulu, Yankee, Dandy. 
I guess I want Zulu. Violas hate Zulu, and we want to take that from Mikey, right? Mikey? Yeah, Mikey. I want to take that from Mikey on the, what arrival are we on? We're on um, do you have a message from your flight attendant? Do I? Are you ready for push? If not, shoot him a text when. Like eight minutes. Okay, so we'll be ready in about eight minutes. Um, okay. Eight minutes. Honks. Oh, no, honks arrival, huh? Why don't I see that in here? That can't be it. Oh, no, rocker. Rocker two from honks. Honk, honk. We'll activate that. Look for discontinuities. That's good. We'll go to our route, perf page, request our perf data, get our plane loaded. Flight director can come on here too. Here's All right, our... I qualified. So perf data is loading. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna get the APU fired up again. Or actually no, the APU's still going. So we're good there. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, oh, that one come on. All right, let's check our load sheet and make sure everything looks good. We need a total block fuel of 10,700. We get 10.8 in the box, so that's looking good. Zero fuel weight, one, two, six. I think you have the kids, maybe. One, two, six. That looks good. Um, reserves, 12. Yep. Okay. We'll execute that. Our limits look good. We'll do a toga takeoff, flaps five departure. Let me get our center of gravity here. It's going to be 27.6. 27.6 gives us 430 on the trim. Takeoff speeds 131, 133, and 145. We're looking good there. Um, so 145 is coming in here. Arm, LNAV, and VNAV. We're going to go straight up to our cruise, which is... Uh, Boy, what's our cruising altitude? You can see how hyper focused she is right now. 100%. Uh, cruising altitude 35,000 feet today, so we're going to go 350. And it's gone. Three, five, zero. There we go. I think it's also maybe the IV stuff. The IV stuff usually makes you itchy too, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Yeah. Running altitude into Burbank. Yeah, it's the IV. It's coursing through your veins. It's going to be seven, eight hundred feet. Uh, okay, her feet that is set in the box. We're looking good there. Hey, you got second. I did. I was going to say I wanted to say top five. I was like, now nah, that's probably a little ambitious. I'll say top ten. I'm like, come and second. Keep it up. I'm miserable at the launch, though. Miserable. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, connecting. Parking brakes coming off. We're going to be pushing here in just a second. Beacon lights coming on. All the fuel pumps are coming on. And we are ready for push. He's pushing. Mark's pushing. Who's Mike? Marky and the Funky Munch. Oh, okay. I saw that movie. Do I have to set my car up for everything again? Nope. Okay. Perfect. You're in park for me, so you can't. Shadow's pushing us or no uh, Mr. Blue is our tow driver today. Yes. Mr. Blue is our tow driver. As soon as he connects, he's a little slow. Don't tell Blue I said that. <laughs> I didn't call him slow on stream. I'll remember this real well, but there we go. 
Electric hydraulics are coming on and packs. Ooh. Off. We are cleared to start engines. I'm, I'm out. Two. Okay. Hold on. Dang it. I was doing so good. So good. Qualifying I did. I'm going to retire. <laughs> that is just gonna absurd. Um, maybe on our next time, Vat Sim was kind of acting up for us. This one first. Right or left. We will do a Vat Sim flight probably on our next time in the cockpit. Like right or left? Left. Right. Nose right. Right. Nose right. Yeah, I said nose right. That's like my favorite track, too. All right. Naturally. We will come into number two. Yeah. Maybe I should turn damage off. Which one do you want the nose? Nose right, please. Do you want to try that track again or no? Uh, if you're willing, I really like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready up. Our pushback tow driver is very slow. Very, very slow. Well, that's because I think the brakes are, like, stuck on. Look. I'm going to get a good qualifying, and then I'm just going to retire. One start. Let's get our generator on. Pack on. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Number two. Now you need to do your setup again. Emola. Yes. I actually really wanted to name my daughter Emola. I think it was really? a really cool name. Did you guys pick out the name already? We did. It was Violet, but. Apparently, it sounded too similar to Edema. Or, right? Enema. You don't seem like you're, don't seem like you're uh, sold on the name Bullet. No. I mean, well, yeah. Mother knows best. This is true. No arguing with mother. No arguing with mom. Uh, we can stop the pushback. Stop the pushback. There we go. Parking brake is set. Engine number one is coming alive. Let's get flap set to five. Auto brake RTO. All right, waiting for one to stabilize. And engine gent coming on. Pack is on. Isolation valve auto. APU is off. We're looking good. Taxi lights are on. Controls are free and clear. And I think we're ready to go. Make sure I'm forgetting anything. Okay, nope, we're ready to go. Parking brake is released. And here we go. And we're off. This and the extra. All right, so we check our fuel. Minimum fuel for takeoff is going to be 10 2. 
We are at 10 6. Double check that once we get to the runway. That shadow. A little quick on the taxi, but that's all right. A little. Mm -hmm. well, I gotta remember this trick you guys did to get the audio in this headset so I can use this instead of. The other one, if we have to stream like this again. Yep. yep. Until Eagle can come here to set up the cameras properly. Not too sure how the GoPros work. Yeah, we don't use the audio from the GoPros. We. Well, I know. We're going to have to get our microphone oh. here, but. Like getting the actual GoPros to work, though, because it was recognizing it in the PC, but there was no image coming out. Oh, I get what you're saying. Webcams are very easy and simple to set up. <laughs> that is very true. Welcome back. Hotel. Hotel. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're giving our takeoff clearance early. There we go. Yeah, hotel Wi-Fi. And to start switches to continuous. Wing lights on, strobes are on. Okay, sorry about that. Climbing lights are on. Hotel Wi-Fi was like, nah, bro. Nah, bro, I get it. Did it kick you out? Nope. All right. All oh, the on. Here we go. Do I need to invite you? No. Your dad says which is in heaven. Stabilized. Your dad says a lot. Our trim is set and good and so good. He says he loves you and he's praying. This tiller is so sensitive. Uh huh. B1 and roll top date. And we are off. All the right gears coming up. Can go on departure. What two? What one? We have our flap. Retractable lights can come in. I am not doing too hot on this qualifying session. When we do our podcast, what are we calling it? No clue, dude. 
the insane Maverick and Shadow? I don't know. Um, ILS? The ILS show? Uh, oh, boy, it's going to come on here. We got a hold. Oh, first place. All right, continuous engines are off. Taxi lights off. We're looking good. I don't know what it is about Raikkonen, but literally every time, whoa, getting away from you, sir. Every time I'm around him, I just he desyncs and like tries to take me out. Are you loading back in, Shadow? Hear that? Dude, I'm starving. Starving. Oh. Starving. The end. Starving freaking Marvin. I had Burger King for dinner. Cool. I didn't see you in your shadow. You had Burger King for dinner. I was like, I was like, uh, seven hours ago now, but. <laughs> have you ever had their chicken sandwich? I have. You cut out there, what? I said I have. So if you get that with the extra sauce that they put on it, I don't know what it is, but extra whatever that sauce is. Oh, so good. Same yep. thing with Wendy's. They're creamy cheddar chicken sandwich, which you can also get in a burger. I just know it is the number 11. I don't know if it's an 11 down there as well, but you get that with extra bacon jam and extra creamy cheddar cheese. There's a reason why I'm the size I am. You know, like... <laughs> hey, there's a reason why I'm the size I am, too. Part of that reason is because my grandparents used to manage Del Taco, and they would always bring me home food as a kid. Oh, really? And they would like custom make food though. It wasn't even just always food on the menu. Ooh. And it was always delicious. That sounds absolutely delicious. That and every day after elementary school, my grandpa would pick me up. He'd always go and take me and get me a happy meal. That's amazing. That's part of the reason why <laughs> I'm this size. No, the real reason is because I got into plumbing and started truck driving. And didn't exercise as much. And constantly ate on the road. Because I had to eat to stay awake. Yep, that's fair. So your parents, what well, grandparents used to manage Del Taco? Uh, yeah, they were like... Uh, like a franchise owner? No, uh, they weren't a franchise owner. They were just like the store general manager. Oh, okay. I worked like the day shift. Grandpa worked the graveyard shift. That makes sense. They used to own their own restaurant called Jack and Jill's back in the day. Before Jack and Jill went up the hill to make some delicious food. Now, you know, it's called Jack and Jill Burgers. Oh, I want a good solid burger right now. Well, 
but my grandpa before that used to actually be a mechanic for Pan Am before they went uh, went under. Really? Yeah. That's really cool. I have an uncle that he just retired from Boeing, but he worked for Boeing for a bit. He had I don't remember what he did, but he had something to do with the the jets on some of the wide bodies. Gotcha. That's pretty cool. That's all I was told. Yeah, you know, and then uh, yeah, I guess he served in the Air Force too back in the day. Huh. And then uh, father went in the Air Force. Went there to be a cook. Ended up being a sniper. Dang, that's a change of jobs. <laughs> yeah, well, he was dumb and young, and they uh, hoodwinked him into that job instead of being pair rescue special ops. I guess he was just messing around at the range, and they saw him. He had like a perfect score, um, three times in a row, and then fourth time was like nine out of you know ten or whatever it was. And I said, "Yeah, I don't think we should be a cook. I think you should be coming over here." <laughs> they saw that and were like, first of all, promotion. Second of all, how would you feel about? Laying in dirt for many, many hours straight, not moving, being a sniper. You know, he has a uh, shrap metal, like little pieces still inside, and sometimes set up metal detectors. Crazy. All right, flame lights coming off, eighteen thousand feet. I did not exceed track limits. Dang it. So he was in there until he hurt his knees jumping out of airplanes. That's freaking awesome. Blew out both his knees twice. That's not awesome. <laughs> now, got a lot of friends in the military, too. A lot of people. It was crazy. One of my good friends, Ricky, this guy is absolutely terrified of heights. You know, I have to force him to go on roller coasters with me at Six Flags. And this guy up and joins the army and becomes a paratrooper. That's amazing. Like, I couldn't get you crying on Lex, Loth Lex Luthor Drop of Doom, and now you're about to jump out of airplanes? <laughs> You know, he's telling me all these stories about how he almost died just training, jumping out of planes like several times because the chute got tangled and all this other stuff. I'm like, you're freaking nuts. You're nuts. You don't make any sense. Dang your shadow. Shadow run you off the road? No, I was in first place until he showed up. Damage. Oh, and he just retired from the session and be like, I don't need to keep going anymore. Right. Do you guys know how to uh, rebalance your fuel tanks? Do I know how? Yeah, because my fuel tank is like one fuel tank is drawing more fuel than the other. Nope. Yes. Can I just shut that fuel tank off? Will it kill my engine? Uh, you shut it off, and then you have to open the cross lead. Oh, that? Open the cross The cross lead? And shut that field tank. Yeah. So open that, then shut them off? Correct. Okay. It is off. My engine didn't die, so that's always good. Yes, yes, that is. So, but that's an issue here too. I don't know why the our fuel like always goes imbalanced now. Wait, you don't want the next one? Call one eight hundred five nine six ten sixty and get a twenty twenty two true silver American Eagle coin. Thank you. Yeah. 
Well, we've at least now had two official flights on stream in here. That's true. Even though the first one froze a little bit, it's still frozen. Another one, right? So we almost didn't make the first one, but. Doing another one? What was that? Are you doing another one? Uh, yeah, I'm in the middle of one right now. Last one of the night. We're going to Burbank. Oh, okay. Burbank from San Jose. Then I must get some sleep because I do have to stream in the morning. Which I got to get that set up too when I get home. Get the How far out are you from Burbank? Uh, well, we're about 40 miles from Tapa Cruz. It's only about a 47 minute flight, so really not that far. Okay. There's only about 40 miles between Tapa Cruz and Tapa Descent. But yeah, I got to stream tomorrow morning. Continue our world flight from Paris, France. Gonna be taking off in either the Phoenix AP twenty first or the PMDG. Don't know which one yet. I'm kind of thinking of doing the Phoenix A three twenty first, and then potentially doing two flights in that one flight in the A three thirty. We also got the sports podcast tomorrow, doing another live game. So, for those of you just joining us, two sports podcast It's going live tomorrow at I think five forty-five p.m. And then once the fuel tanks even out, I just turn it back on, right? Yes. And turn cross speed off. You got it. Wait. Doesn't cross speed though? It's like supposed to put the fuel in the other tank. Yes, but the, no cross speed just does that. But it also what it does it's. If one field, if you close one field tank. Gotcha. Okay. God, do you want to be really loud? What was that? That you. Oh. My wife. I was like, oh, your thing was loud. Which farther do you have? Which what? How much farther do you have? Uh, well, we're about 40 miles, over 40 miles to our top of descent. So probably say 30 minutes. Roughly. So we're on the ground. Uh, yeah, 168 miles to Burbank, saying uh, 0141 Zulu. I don't know what time it is in the sin right now, but 
Um, or well, yeah, so it's about 30 minutes. We're going to reset our altitude down to 7,000. Go down to 7,000 into Burbank. Gonna have that auto brake set on max. Make sure we stop in time. <laughs> I don't even know what time it is anymore. Ooh, it's one o'clock. Like how Geo streamed earlier, he's got a thumbnail up of a Southwest plane, but he's flying the Phoenix A320. Naturally. And he's flying Frontier. <laughs> Geo shenanigans. All right, our fuel is almost back to normal, somewhat. It's getting there.
Ooh, my seats are not comfortable after about seven hours of sitting in it. <laughs> Eight hours sitting in it. Yeah, there. Oh, I I know, sir. Do you? You remember the, you remember the pain? <laughs> yeah, I I remember the many hours straight. Is your uh, leg still feeling the the bruise from sitting in here so long? Nah, not 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 so much, but. You know, you guys are in here so long, you've got a permanent, permanent seat mark. Yeah, <laughs> it was pretty bad. They look so comfortable, but yet. But yeah, they ain't. David, hey, uh, I have one of them Sims. I understand the pain. I done seven hours flight from Manchester to Dubai. Ooh, nice. Yeah, we didn't do one single flight. We've done, uh, what is this, three flights now? This is our third flight? Three flights. With some uh, issues in the beginning, which kind of made it a little bit longer than needed for the three flights. But yes, welcome, Mr. David. So you have a 7372, or what kind of cockpit sim do you have? And do you participate in World Flight, uh, Mr. David? Are you part of the World Flight team crew? I'm not sure, Father built it for you. Ah, gotcha. Well, that was pretty cool of him. This here belongs to Fly with Rookie and the World Flight crew, also known as the SoCal crew. Oh, the scenery of Innsbruck? Yeah, Innsbruck has really good scenery. Really good scenery. I do like flying into there as well. Bring my field pumps back on. We'll close the cross feed. What the hell? What? Well, as soon as I... Like my fuel, my right tank shot up after I turned my cross feed back on. Yeah, it's weird. All right, I need a little bit of drag here. We officially started our descent just a few moments ago down into Burbank. Um, and Madeira, does that say Madeira? So it's kind of small from here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Europe has some pretty good approaches. We are flying though into uh, Los Angeles, or better known as Burbank, where all the rich celebrities fly in and out of. Oh, I said we should try naming it um, ILS or Vectors or Hold Short. Say what? For the podcast hold, name. Hold Short can be a good one. Oh. Yeah, that could be a good one. Hold Short. Yeah, or V1 Rotate. Yeah, I'll use V1 because we can use uh what about positive rate? That could be a good one, positive rate. Um let me think here. You could continue. 
Uh, yes. I didn't think. I thought it would take us to the next. Like, you can just chill screen. So, like man, it'll be fine. Cool. Those are good names. Let's stir the pot a little bit. Why are we stirring the pot? No, the names. Just gotta let it like simmer and boil. Oh. Oh, okay. That's not bad. But it is also pilot in real life for Ryan Air. Nice. Ryan Air. That's pretty cool. Being a real pilot, definitely off. What was that? You need to do your Ryanair landing. We did a Ryanair landing on uh, our first flight. Exactly. Well, I mean, you didn't, they're not. They're, Ryanair is a really good airline. I mean, technically, our livery on this plane is a Ryanair livery because we don't have Delta downloaded in the sim. I don't know why we don't have Delta downloaded in the sim, but we don't. Is he throwing shade? I think so. <laughs> well, I'm just saying we're Delta 8317. You'd think we'd have a... Holy shit. What? What happened? Oh, You made us lose connection. Damn it. Something's overheating and we lost connection. I don't even know what's overheating. Something's overheating. Overheat detected. I've lost all my fuel. What did you do? You changed me to kilograms. We didn't do anything. How are we on kilograms now? I'm gonna need your help though. Can you guys go in and or actually no, I got the mouse. We may have a fire. We may blow up. I'm not sure. <laughs> It didn't even touch anything. We're racing. I'm not saying you touched anything. I'm saying I might have an issue. Okay, went away. But our fuel's still off. I don't know how to fuel. Interesting. You still have the no internet connection prompt on the computer? No, I clicked it off when the sim's going, but I think pro sim might have froze. Uh, it definitely kind of looks like it did. Well, we're going to roll that because the plane's still flying. Don't know how. I don't know how either, but we're going to finish our flight as long as the plane's flyable. Yeah, planes not flying. Well, we're floating down to the ground, people. What? Well, we're going to hand fly here, and we're going to hope that we go the right direction. Alrighty. Well, <laughs> we might have to call it a flight here soon because our plane has malfunctioned.
something is overheating and caught fire, I think. And then it froze. Well, it's still flying in the sim, but. The server's frozen. Like the pro sim server, so frozen. Like the whole computer? No, just pro sim. Oh. And was, if you restart pro sim, it's going to really crash everything. Won't it? You'll have to reload everything is the what'll be the kicker. As What's far the as like your flight. Will the flight still flight. be in the air? I believe so. Mm. We can find out if you want. Oil. I mean Gimme a go no go. Go no go for lunch. <laughs> Let's see, we could VFR fly it into Burbank somehow. There's lots of clouds in front of me, so and mountaintops, so I don't know how I'd do that without instruments, but uh, okay, I guess where I go, if it don't work, it don't work. I would call on that. Go, oh, so go, yes, go to go, okay, go for lunch. Well, I can tell you why ProSim has crashed. Why? I ain't got no internet on that computer at all. Ah. Uh, see, that's why our internet went out. Yeah. Uh, our hand flying, our boys. We're going to just uh, crash into the ground here. Because, well, we're going to go low. I don't know if this will do anything in the flaps, but we'll try. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, prepare for an emergency landing. Please take your seats and brace for impact. I so was not even like racing, Shadow. Somebody just hit my freaking tire. <laughs> well, I am now in last. I won't be for long. I wonder if I can see where I am on Navigraph still. Nope. Because the Navigraph connection is on the server. Nope. Okay. We're screwed. We're going in. Come on, Beacon, and don't do that. We need to find a patch of landing spot. What this? But we're not going to be very successful because it's all clouds. All right, there we go. We're going in the clouds. We're going in deep, y'all. I think I must have a damaged band or something from wing. The gear seems to be working. Well, that's good. <laughs> I think you should have everything except displays. Because everything is interfaced with the, from the main computer except audio. 
and displays, meaning those should still, everything else should still work just fine. Uh, displays or MCP. But I got flight controls and I don't have control of my throttle though. Yep, MCP is network. No control of throttles is a little concerning. Yeah, no. On landing, we're just going to have to cut the throttles. That's one way to do it. <laughs> That's if we don't crash on the side of mountain first, because I'm about to go into the cloud layer and I can't see where I'm going. I have no Good terrain. Good luck. No terrain radar. Good luck. Let's kiss your tushy goodbye. We're going in the thick of it. We're going in the thick of it. Officially can't see. Officially can't see anything. Hopefully we break out through the clouds before we hit the mountain. All right, I'm starting to see something. I have ground. Good luck. I have stutters, but I have ground. She's stuttering hardcore, y'all. Why am I struggling so much right now? I feel like I have an airport in sight. I kind of have controls over the throttle now. Is that an airport right there? I feel like that's an airport. All right, auto brake mix. We're going in for that airport. Uh, I have an airport off to the right, and I think it's super small, but we're touching down anyways. Everyone, Bryce. There we go. Hope we'll make it. We're going to try. I'm going to attempt to download. I can't see. A window popped up. Any way you can close that window without screwing me up? <laughs> um, hold on. Get one of these smalls. Uh, team viewer. I can't because I can't connect to the computer. Son of a. Sorry. Right. We're going to multitask. I wouldn't be surprised if that window popping up was part of the reason why it lost connection. Because he said it was a window update. I don't know. Maybe. Freaking windows. All right. There we go. Flaps 40. Emergency landing. Someone call the fire crew. Because we're coming in hot. We're coming in hot on a super small runway that I don't think is definitely not designed for this aircraft. The fact that it's always Riken in that I'm stuck behind is embarrassing. Anytime well, it's a safe car. Worse. But um, you should be. Um... 
Apparently, I just don't know how to race when I'm in the thick of all of it, you know? Well, I helped you out, so I caused the safety car. The angry throttles. All right, we're cutting the engines. Are you catching up, though? Oh, oh yeah. I can see you. Okay. The engines are off. We're floating it. I just made that same little chicane that you did. Who's is there, Speed? Well, we're in the safety car, so you should be literally behind me. Yep. Oh, we're down. Lamming on the brakes. Holy shit, we made it. I'm proud of you. Don't try this at home, kids. Oh, the fire trucks. Call an ambulance. Call an ambulance. But not for me. I don't know where airport we're at, but on the runway, got the engines, floated it. I just saw it. Wasn't a insane shadow. Oh, true. All right, keep playing. Slides. Man, how long is the safety car for? Oh boy, uh, usually three laps. But if you press start, you can just have it just auto drive for you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it. Don't know where we made it to, but we made it on the ground safely. We did not die. It is extremely late now, and that's going to wrap it up for us. Hey, thanks for joining us. <clears throat> we will see you guys in the morning, uh, probably about eight thirty ish. In the morning, we'll be live again in the Phoenix A three twenty. Phoenix. Did anyone donate for the farm? What was that? Anyone donate for the farm? Uh, I don't think so, but I don't have my alert set up on this laptop. Y'all are determined. <laughs> so, uh, someone made it in the podcast. Mr. Sheer Insane for farming seven. And we fly the Phoenix A320 through Europe, followed by the PMDG, possibly an A330. So, yeah, till then, we'll see you guys. In the morning, or well, later this morning, because it's already in the morning and it's late. Peace.